percussion-obsessed musician and University of Central Missouri student Michael Walling has been accepted into the Drum Corps International for the second year in a row. He recalls the moment when he was inspired to dabble in percussion. What got me into Drum Corps? Uh, when I was 13, my mother took me to my first Drum Corps show. She, uh, my mother used to be in Color Guard in marching band in high school, and so she had heard of Drum Corps, because Drum Corps is basically professional marching band. And she took me to a show for the first time when I was 13 in Kansas. And uh, I loved it and quickly forgot about it because I was 13. And then uh, in high school, there's a show that comes here to Warrensburg, actually, in the middle of the summer. And I came here two summers in a row and just fell in love with it. And uh, it's awesome. And I never thought I'd do something like that. And then I got here, and we have a teacher here named Marcus Newdigate, who uh, was in drum corps and still teaches drum corps. And uh, he helped me along and helped me find my passion for drum corps. What Drum Corps International is, is it's an organization, and so the best way I can describe it is Drum Corps International is this umbrella that has a bunch of things under it that are still considered Drum Corps International. Uh, the, first thing, the first thing under this umbrella is Drum Corps. Uh, there are about 50, somewhere in the 50-ish range of Drum Corps across the United States. Uh, each drum corps is based in its own town, so like for instance, Madison Scouts is based in Madison, Wisconsin. Blue Devils are based in Concord, California. They're, they're all over the country. And uh, each drum corps is uh, it's basically a professional marching band of drumline, front ensemble, and brass players. There are no woodwinds. And uh, what it is, is it's, it's competition. It's professional marching band competition that separates itself from a school name. The whole competition base behind Drum Corps is that by the end of the season, uh, you will perform in Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana, which for every band nerd everywhere is the dream. Lucas Oil Stadium is beautiful. It's in Indianapolis. And it's just this aura around it, you know? It's like this legend behind it. You know, do you have like that thing back at home that's like, it may not be like the coolest thing, but it's just like legend status if you get there? That's Lucas Oil Stadium. And so a competition, so you have four big regionals that the drum corps will meet at uh, before the final. And that's the uh, Midwest Regional, the Southwest, the Southeast, and the uh, Northeast Regional. Um, Midwest Regionals up in Minnesota, at the University of Minnesota, beautiful stadium there too. Uh, and every drum corps is there. It is all hands on deck, it is a full day in this stadium of drum corps. And I mean, it's literally, so it, it's, it's a process, dude. So like you pull up to the lot, the parking lot, and you unload your equipment. And for front ensemble, we will practice in the parking lot outside the stadium. And then we get taken down the ramp, down into the inner workings of the stadium, and we're on the field of the stadium. And there's a core in front of us who started their schedule the exact same way, just 12 minutes before. And their 12 minute show gets done, and as they are pulling off the field, we're pulling on. And it is, it is not a moment to waste. I mean, time starts and you have 15 minutes to get on the field, put a show on, and get off the field. And so, uh, you know, and you're doing that with 50 cores in a day. So it's a lot. This is Gareth Miles Greenfield reporting for Lodine.